Hello, it's Steph here, aka Mrs. Brickinit, and I'm just going to start taking you through some of the updates and things we've been building for the Winter Village this week. I've been building this Christmas promo tree here that I've added to the middle of the city. So this again was a promo set and I really like it because it's quite big. If I come down here, you can see it's bigger than our other Christmas tree, so it makes a really nice central focal point. I've still got some lights, so I'm going to be adding those to it, but just put it in the sense to see what it looks like and I think it looks really good. Uh, some of the other things I've got, I've got, I've only got a couple of packs, but I've got a couple of the extra packs that I'm going to look and see where I can put them. So down here we've got a couple of other sets that we've been building to add to the Winter Village. Obviously they're not going to stay where they are in the middle of the roads at the moment. I think we'll be creating a bit of a snowball fight scene. And then we've also got this set over here. We've got sort of like some nice stalls, kind of bench where people can have their drinks and then a little train. So I think we'll make this into a like little kids ride maybe so they can kind of come to the Winter Village. So this here is part of one of the Winter Village sets which we've lit up but it's separate. So we're thinking whether we can bring some of these down here to kind of light up this row of modulars a bit. And I've also started adding some leaves and um, red berries and sort of decorations to Assembly Square to kind of Christmasify it up. And we're gonna sort of have a bit of an experiment and see if we can do maybe something different. Maybe change the um, fountain up to something different. I think that will make it really Christmassy down the row of modulars. Okay, so my challenge for this week, as my first challenge anyway, is to get this train motorized and the lighting done on. Now, got the Brick Smacks lighting kit here. This should hopefully be okay. I'm gonna to have to modify this though because this probably doesn't allow it to be kind of moving, which is what I wanna do as well. So also this set came out a long time ago, way before the new power function. So I've got the new power up functions with this and this. These are from the passenger train. So I'm gonna try and get this to work. I've had a look at how the old one works. It used to have an IR receiver that went in here as well. I don't think I need to do that. So you literally put the power brick in here, I believe, and then motorize this. So I'm gonna have to have a look and see if I can get that done first. I think first challenge is to motorize it. Second challenge then is to see how I can get this kind of working. Now, I pulled off this top here because that is where the battery bank could go and hide. And I'll just raise that up by a brick because it won't fit in else. So, and then obviously I'll have to detach the spinning tree so that it doesn't spin anymore else the lights will just get wrapped around and it'll basically rip itself apart. So let's get this thing motorized. Okay, so we've had to really Frankenstein this train, but for now I have got it motorized by the looks of it. So this is the new powered up functions, and actually I found that the Disney train does have a Disney app for Christmas time, which is pretty cool. So I've put the battery bank in there, but I've actually used the, this is the power one, because putting it under the here just didn't work because it took off the front of the train. But we kind of got it working, that's what the battery bank will be. This might fly off actually at the moment, because it's not clipped on at the moment, but... It does work. So we have a motorized train. And with the wire that's just taking everything out. There we go. So our first motorized Christmas train. So now what I want to do is I want to look at the Bricks Max stuff and try and get as much of the lighting kit for that as possible. I think I'm going to have to modify and not use as many of the lights, but I think it'll look really cool all lit up going around. The uh, Winter Village. Also, obviously, this looks an absolute mess at the moment because of the light kits and everything, but it'll all look good by the end of the video. Okay, so we've done a pretty decent amount of work today, actually. I managed to light up the Elf Clubhouse so far. This is looking really cool now, so this is everything else. Steph did the tree last night as well, and we've got that all set up, which is looking awesome as the centerpiece. And now I did manage to get the train actually lit up. Now, the front is actually lit up, which is very, very dim at the moment because the batteries that we're using are actually watch batteries that go into the back part here. So we might need to get some new ones of that, but it is working, it's fully motorized and it's lit up, which is just absolutely awesome. So happy with that. And how that's actually working is with the train app here on the other phone. So I can stop it and it should come to a stop. There we go, but it all works really, really cool. So we've also managed to add a little bit more Christmas into the back as well. So. The Santa and his sleigh is gonna go up here, I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna to need to light it, but I've run out of like adapters, so we're gonna to have to find a hub to adapt, attach that, the tree, and we were gonna do another thing as well, which I can't remember what it was. Oh, I think it was under the lighting of one of these lamp posts, which is actually this one here. I was gonna light that one up and get it over here as well to add a bit more lighting. But we've actually got the fire engine here and the guy is gonna be on the, the ladder putting on the star at the top of the tree, because we just wanted to add a little bit more 
Christmas to the back as well. So next, what I want to do is kind of tile all this in as well, put a bit more white kind of Christmassy stuff on it as well, you know, make it look like snow and things and get this looking a lot more Christmassy too. But I think already so far this week, we've done really, really good job. So we're going to be filling in this with a bit of the snow. We've also got the ski resort thing that we might add in as well with the snow kind of fight going on over here. And like I said, we want to get that ice skating rink as well at some point, whether that'll go in too. But it's looking pretty cool. I'm quite happy with what we've done. Okay, so ideas with the snowball fight set that we had this year is this one, which is an old three-in-one creator set, but it actually has like a little ski slope, which I thought could be really, really cool. Now on its own, it looks a little bit weird, but I think it's got some nice figures and it could really add a little like skiing area down at the bottom, which I think could be absolutely awesome. So I thought, what better way to go with this would be this set, 60203, which I haven't built. It's another legacy set, but again, we got this for quite cheap a while ago and it actually has an esports shop next to it, a ski patrol. And it also has another one of those market stores as well, which would be really, really cool. So I think I'm going to be building this. Probably won't add all of it in, but it's got some pretty cool winter people and stuff. And I just think we'll see how it fits, if it'll fit in all right. But might as well build both of these and see how they look. Okay, so we've added a few more scenes in at the moment just to kind of get some ideas. These are pretty cool that we had before. But if you notice, this one is actually a new one, which comes from the ski resort set that I've actually put over here to have a look at what you think. I've also put the three-in-one from the other year, the creator ski house. That could be like a ski uh, slope that goes down here. And then we've got this here and then the half pipe and stuff along with the toboggan ride and stuff in this corner, which I think looks really, really cool, actually. Now, we're not going to be able to light any of these up because we just haven't got around to getting any light kits for this because this is just a, an ad hoc idea I had the other day, which I think looks really, really cool. We also have the little ski board shop that goes with this, the snowboard shop, which I could put at the back as well, just to kind of pad this bit out a little bit as if it's like a, a little ski area. So I think that looks pretty cool, but let me know what your thoughts. I've also got some ideas of kind of having this, so the ride would go around here, and I'll pebble that in in a sec, uh, probably next week now. We've also got the fun in the part packs and the little tiny people pack and things. I think they could go quite well here. We had this creator three-in-one kind of hot dog thing as well there that came with the uh, pet shop corner one, which could look pretty decent there as well. Maybe having a little scene here, but I do have plans. I've actually bought it and hopefully it'll come in time. The uh, one with the carousel and things, the winter village set that Steph doesn't own yet. And I think she'll be pretty excited when she see that comes through the door. She'll probably notice it though now, as I've obviously said in this video. Hopefully she won't watch this bit. But, um, but yeah, so hopefully we will get in that and then potentially we can light that up as well for the end of the year if we can get the light kit in time. But I thought have a little set in the middle, really cool with the carousel and things and then get some set up. I also want to do a little Santa's grotto where Santa's sitting down and there's little kids coming to take their photo and stuff over here. I think that'll look wicked. And then I want to work on getting all this tiled up with um, nice little snow effects and stuff as well and carry on the lighting here. But that is kind of where we got to this week. So we've lit up the train, got that all moving, lit up the Alf Clubhouse, got that all working, built these sets here and got this kind of all set up and some scenes. So as well as lighting up this Christmas tree as well. So we've done lots this week, but still got another two weeks left yet. Hopefully we want to try and get pretty much everything done next week and then we'll have the finale on christmas day anyway but for next week we're probably going to try and do all the scenes maybe get the winter village if it comes in time the carousel one and then probably lighting it up for the last day where we'll kind of show you on christmas day everything that's working but i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a massive like and if you absolutely loved it then how about subscribe and as always have an absolute awesome day if you enjoyed the vid then if you haven't already please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and as always keep bricking it